Boom. The Cinco style were probably my favorite and my most successful um, plastic bait would be the tube. And uh, I love this design. It's a uh, worked very well for me. It's uh, just a real simple design been around for uh, quite a while. Um, and it's well enough for catching smallmouth, but it works great on every species of bass. Uh, I've had a lot, like I said, a lot of success on it. Uh, just as much as a dinger or a sinko, whatever. Um, so it's easy to rig, it's easy to fish, and uh, anybody can do it, really. bait company likes to do is take the original design of a bait and build up off of it and make it better. And uh, they've done this with a lot of baits in the past in the tube, they've done it with the tube. I don't know who's the first to come up with the design, but I know Yun is well known for their uh, Viber King tube. <clears throat> and uh, what it is, it's a, it's a tube, but it's got a rib body instead of just a, you know, just a flat, uh, you know, normal body. Also, the bait is a, a lot softer than most of the original tubes, so uh, the fish will hold on longer because of the soft texture, but it's not too soft to the point where you have to change your bait every third fish. So it's durable, but not too durable is what I'm trying to say. Uh, also, it's infused with Yum F2, so throw that F2 in there, and that's a pretty deadly mixture right there. So uh, you got the uh, uh, really nice setup right there. There's a bait company that makes a, a bait that's really similar. Uh, a and M makes a tube uh, uh, with uh, this kind of um, rib design. I know the scent's different, but pretty much it's a lot alike. There's a few different modifications to it, but it's pretty much uh, the same bait. <clears throat> uh, great bait as well. Uh, salt impregnated. They got so much action in the water; it's unbelievable. So the uh, it's just there's just so much action. That's what sets this, these tubes apart from all the others. Um, there's so many ways to rig them too. They're so um, just uh, versatile. Uh, I, I can you can go from a shaky head to Texas rig to Carolina rig if you wanted to. But fishing the grass, I rarely throw it on a te uh, Texas rig. Well, I do throw it on a Texas rig weightless. That's what I use in the grass. But uh, sometimes uh, in like in the fall and stuff, I'll throw it. Um, <coughs> I'll throw it with a weight. But pretty much I always Texas rig it. So. Uh, it's got great action any way you rig it, pretty much. Uh, the most action it has is when it's weightless. It's It just goes down there and does its little boogie thing, whatever. It uh, just looks really good in the water and very enticing. So uh, <clears throat> these baits are uh, very affordable. The uh, the A&M baits, uh, what I like about them is that uh, one pack of these tubes is uh, it's five bucks, but it comes with 25 tubes in one pack in, uh, versus the uh, Yum Viber King, which is, has only like 10 in a pack, and it's 3 bucks. So either way, it's pretty good, but I usually opt for the A&Ms. And uh, very affordable, very durable baits, both of them are. So uh, you may want to go check those out. Uh, there are definitely fish catchers. Your setup, what you throw this with, plays a bigger factor than many people realize. Um, usually I stick with a spinning rod. Uh, normally, but fishing this grass and stuff, I usually opt for a bait cast setup. Uh, spinning my spinning uh, setup works great, but uh, fishing just to keep you know stay safe, uh, I throw uh, on this setup right here. What I got is a uh, Falcon Buku uh, 610 medium heavy rod. Uh, this rod is excellent for throwing these baits. It's not micro guided. But I can still chunk these baits very far. Any weightless bait you put on there. Um, made in America. Love Falcon. Uh, great quality rods. <clears throat> what I like about this is it's real limber. And you need that limber. Uh, you know, it's not too limber, but you need it to be limber because you're going to throw it out there and you're going to. Uh, when you got a real stiff rod, you can't work that bait in the in that grass like you need to. And you can with this limber rod. So uh, limber tip plays a big uh, part of uh, making your bait look enticing the fish. So that's my uh, rod right there, uh, very important, uh, my reel, uh, Quantum Energy PT, I, I usually opt for a 7.0 uh, to 1 gear ratio. Uh, I use this the same kind of reels that I 
or do whenever I'm uh, flipping and pitching. I want to burn. This is a burner. I need a fast reel because, uh, you know, there's so many things that can happen in that grass. You need to get to your bait real fast, as fast as you can, because those fish can grab it as soon as it hits the water, and you need to that uh, to keep up with that line and that fish. So and also uh, get a fish and you're way back in that uh, lily pads or whatever you're fishing, and you got to bear back and reel it over that, uh, so you won't have to risk uh, your fish breaking your line or getting hung up in that grass. So uh, good, uh, good gear ratio for this uh, reel. Great reel, very smooth cast, like a charm. Uh, beautiful. This is the old, older model, I believe. The new one is what 2013, 2012. Um, the model before that, really great reel. Um, quality, excellent. Uh, the line, the line. This is wonderful line. Uh, what I got here, Seaguar, uh, red label, best fluorocarbon I've ever used, and. Uh, like I said, it is fluorocarbon and it's 12 pound. And many people, when I say that, they kind of awe because they never throw 12 pound into uh, grass. But uh, when I'm weightless fishing in grass, that's pretty much all I use. It can cast further. It's not quite as uh, um, it's not quite as strong as Bray, but uh, this uh, Seaguar Red Label is very close to uh, being strong enough because <coughs> this line. Probably the stoutest line I've ever used. Will not break. Um, there is. It's pretty dumb line because uh, it's got no memory whatsoever. Uh, and like we all know, memory equals uh, or more memory equals more uh, broken lines. So you want a line with little memory. And this is it. The Seaguar Red Label. Uh, like I said, when I'm throwing this, uh, I usually get 12 to 14 pound. And uh, Probably best line you can, uh, best fluorocarbon, it's 100%, best fluorocarbon I've ever thrown. Um, will not throw any other. Uh, Seaguar Red Label, they really outdid themselves on that line, so great. Improved Clinch Knot, uh, then I got my Off Shank Worm EWG by Gamakatsu. Probably the only hook I use for this kind of, uh, technique. Really great hook, stays sharp. Uh, love this kind of hook, so, uh, good setup right here. So, that's pretty much my uh, setup right there, deadly. Deadly. Mm, this is what I use for a throwing weightless, pretty much weightless everything. The tubes mainly. Uh, here's the AN Bates tubes. Uh, go check out their website to get some. They're really affordable, very durable. So uh, go check those out. Go get that type of tube. Um, so that's pretty much what I set up, how I throw these tubes. And uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it.